Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is your Tennis Now News Update. The Australian Open may have to consider remodeling because it seems Rod Laver Arena is now no lace house. World number one Novak Djokovic is racking up the records, this time with a straight set win over second ranked Andy Murray, which was basically a replay of the title match from 2015. It was Novak's third straight major and his 11th Grand Slam title overall. So now he is tied with legends Rod Laver and Bjorn Borg for fifth place all time. It's Nole's sixth Australian Open title. That is five trophies in the last six years, joining Hall of Famer Roy Emerson as the most decorated men's champion in Australian Open history. Wow. Uh, phenomenal. I'm very proud of it, uh, as, as is my team. And uh, we worked very hard to, to be in this position and we should enjoy it. We should uh, cherish every moment that uh, that uh, we get to experience now because these are the, the tournaments that we all value. During what has become a very dominant run, Nole has reached 17 Grand Slam finals, won 13 titles in just the last 12 months. And now he's setting his sights on Roland Garros, the only major title that he's yet to win. And here's something to think about. If Djokovic wins in Paris, he would complete the career Grand Slam and hold all four majors simultaneously. And there's more. Since this is an Olympic year, Nole has a shot to win the Golden Slam. If he wins the next three slams, which frankly it looks like he can, and he wins gold at the Olympics, wow, the Golden Slam. The 28-year-old Nole is now aiming at Roger Federer's record of 17 Grand Slam titles. And as a reminder, it is a woman who owns the only Golden Slam, and that is Steffi Graf, who won in 1988 and had arguably the greatest single season in tennis history. So can Nole do it this year? And can he surpass Roger Federer's 17 major titles? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. All right, the most excited Djokovic fan in the world wasn't even in Melbourne. Nope, he was at home watching his very famous dad in action. This is adorable Stefan Djokovic, that's Nole's son, getting very pumped up watching his dad at work in this video that went viral. Ma, ma. So cute. Andy Murray has also made history, but not really something you want to brag about. He is the first man to lose five finals at the same Grand Slam suffering his fourth loss to Djokovic. But Andy also earned praise with a very touching thank you to his wife, Kim, who was back home in London expecting the couple's first child. And the world number two won one of the best points of the final. You've been a legend the last two weeks. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I'll be on the next flight home. Thank you. Andy is also featured in a new commercial for his racket sponsor, Head. Check it out. Now over to the women's side. Dreams really do come true. Just ask Angelique Kerber. Boy, she played a terrific match against Serena Williams in the women's final for her very first Grand Slam title. Angie's remarkable run started when she saved a match point in the first round against Masaki Doi. Boy, she just kept going. Kerber was on, hitting shots like this one over and over again, making her just the second German woman in the Open era to win the Australian Open, joining her hero, Steffi Graf, who won in Melbourne 22 years ago. You know, the best moment, I had the best two weeks in my life and uh, the, the best moment of my career last night. Even Serena was really happy for Angie. They had a very nice exchange at the end of their match. It was really nice to see. So now Kerber gets bumped all the way up to number two in the rankings. So why not take a plunge into the Ibarra River? <laughs> 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 
So, Angie Stunner has denied Serena Williams her 22nd Grand Slam title, which would have equaled Steffi Graf's open era record. The world number one was very gracious in defeat, praising Angie, who now joins a very small group of players who have beat Serena in the finals. Those players include Venus Williams, Maria Sharapova, and Samantha Stozer. Hey, and I'm so happy for you, and I really hope you enjoy this moment. Uh, you truly deserve it, so congratulations. Tennis Now photographer and lifelong Melbourne resident Mark Peterson was courtside from the first ball to the last to capture some very magical moments in Oz. So we thought we'd leave you with some of Mark's favorite images from an amazing Australian Open. That's our news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.